They uh, tried to get the catch there. Now the tower does end up falling to Cthulhu Pond. He's gonna trample away. Oh wow, the Wrath of the Pharaoh actually hooked him. But here comes the Barbed Armor. Dream of Madness is applied here. Cthulhu Pond is all by himself. Only team support get here in time. Hopefully this touch was used. Here comes the energy field locking down the team support as Cthulhu Pond does fall. Tablets are happening, but Blitz is gonna get silenced up. Ophelia will she make the TP escape? It looks like it as the Soul Blessing comes out to prevent that damage. And now Jerezaya is here. He's pounded in the auto attacks. Pharaoh is going to fall. Blitz will fall in response to the haste of Master of Arms. As now Jerezaya is here once again with that restoration stone. He's going to go for the TP on out. And will this be disastrous for backdoor protocols? The buyback comes from Cthulhu. Right. Doesn't have a shrunken head, so if he gets initiated on it. Here we go. Speaking of him, here is the trample into the Dream of Madness and the Barb being applied. Here comes the energy field down. Wormhole is channeled on top. Pharaoh is taking some heavy pressure. He will be the first one to fall on top of Master of Arms. Two players dead. Will there be any buybacks is the question. Doesn't look like it. It's Jerezaya. He's going to fall to the Hammerstorm who's holding his ground. Now the Shrunken Head has worn off and it is going to be a double tap for Dutch there. Will they look to pursue here as Ophelia is going to most likely fall here. There's going to be the third kill as Engineer does get that one. So they can't do sync, so I can achieve the mark against him. Oh, and we're going to catch the Master Barbs recording out in the trees. His, his port almost landed. He will end up falling there. Oh, yeah, Storm. They're going to see him here with the Veiled Rock Cthulhu font. He's going to go in on the uh, Engineer here as Hammerstorm gets some right clicks out. There's the Power Throws from Vex, but Tablet comes in on the Blitz. He does survive. Meanwhile, Engineer does fall over to Jerezaya and Cthulhu font, and Master Rogue's going to be the next victim despite having that shrunk. Uh, Pharaoh is taking some heavy pressure here. He's going to get going. Uh, Wormhole connects onto Hammerstorm. And there is going to be a buyback here for Engineer. Uh, no buybacks from the rest of the team. If you go let PKB, I think that team fight just did it. The GGs are being called here at the one hour mark. And Backdoor Protocol is going to take game number one here in this best of three series. So, Zenrith, he is very low. He's going to port to the base, get that regen. As uh, Polly's going to get the better of this jump here as Midas did go in with a combo. Here comes the Master's Call. Midas gonna sacrifice himself. And here comes the team support for Backdoor Protocol. Deadwood following Sandra in the trees here. And this is not gonna work out for Big Ego Crew. They lose two players here. Another team based item. What he'll go for. Have you got any ideas? Yeah, we have an initiation here. Shugugi is in with the sheep stick as they get the one kill onto Ammonia. There is no buyback available on him. Here's a trample being lined up. Here's the Dream of Madness kicking in. And now Sandra is here with the Mirage. Is he going to be able to hold his ground against the Oogie? He is going to fall. The Oogie is just too darn strong. It's going to be a hatcher coming out. Um, but we have a Storm Spirit picked up on the Deadwood. And you know, the big thing for me there is the idea is right behind that. But um, he's going to jump in here on the Sand Wraith. He pops the Shrunken. Now Rhapsody is in the area to kind of prevent any follow up there. They're looking to kind of turn this one around. Here comes the Fear from Sand Wraith as he ports into the Mirage. Storms are going to be used on himself as the Midas combo going to miss there. He gets shaped up by Midas as Deadwood will end up falling here. He will be the first victim. Meanwhile, Ugi does chase down Rhapsody in the background. Sand Wraith is in the front lines here with the Shrunken. Now it's going to be wearing off very soon here. The Restoration Stone already is. There's a Sheep Stick on the Sand Wraith. Getting locked out in the war trap. Will he end up falling as Oogie does fall first and Shepard does fall? Sandwraith, he's going to be able to not hold his ground actually as his onslaught streak does fall. And it is going to be Big Ego Crew taking a genocide here as both carries fall. Protoss in the bottom lane, he's got a sticky bomb on him. He's going to leap in onto the prisoner. Is this going to be enough damage for a kill as the bombardment comes out? Who's going to land here onto the bombardier? Who's going to end up falling first? First grasp is applied and that will mean bombardier does fall. Health pot being used here by Prisoner, or actually no, it was the Mana Battery, he still has the Health Pot ready to go, he's going to use it here as the Dig Stun will stun him up, and uh, that's going to be just enough distance for Prisoner presence, so great lockdown there from our Legion side, there's the poor man's portal key from Pebbles chucking in, Rally, and he's going to line up the Seismic Slam, following up that Compel, and that will be another kill go in the way of Big Ego Crew, as they are now off to a 6-2 to two hero kill lead. Sorry. Pebbles has his portal key. He's going to jump in here with the double damage. They're going to get the kill here onto Electrician. Now here comes a nice look for Prisoner. He's lining up the Prison Break. It's going to pull in all three. He gets the one kill onto Pebbles. And that's going to mean Protoss also falling. Glacius goes down. It's a hat trick coming out for Prisoner. They're thinking about maybe engaging. Here comes the TPs as Pebbles is going to get the jump here onto Prisoner. He's going to throw the uh, Prisoner back onto the Creep Wave. There 
is a grip coming in from Electrician, but the Seismic Slam takes out Prisoner, and that's a good start here too. The team fight now. Dampier is making his way over. He's got the portal gate. He's going to jump in. Will he get the target he's looking for? It doesn't look like it. Chronos going to lock down the chipper here. There's an air strike coming in on both the Gym Answer and the chipper as they will secure both those kills. Chronos going to survive on very low life. Dampier thinking about going back in. He's got a portal gate coming up in one more second. Will he re-engage? He jumps in with the flight and the uh, fear, and he portal keys to safety, taking out that glacier. Hey, Chronos, sorry again to cut you off. He's thinking about jumping in. He actually doesn't leap in. So Pebbles goes in kind of by himself here. Now the hook's going to be avoided by Pebbles. So he has nice job of not giving up any kills there. Dixon comes out. There's the chainsaws down from Chipper. Three man Chronos here coming in. There's the tablet on a Chipper. Airstrike comes out on top. They're not getting any kills just yet. Actually, they did get the uh, Geomancer kill, but the cores are holding their ground. And now Kronos, is he going to fall here? Dampier jumps in. He's going to bring him down. He's zoomed down for another 10 more seconds. But four players dead in exchange for that Geomancer as Rally's still not alive here. Yeah, we could be seeing, uh, could be seeing a full on push now. There's a trample following up that pit ball on the slip plate. Now again, this is the guy with token. Cthulhu thought he's gonna sacrifice himself. Three man elemental void coming out. That's not gonna be sloppy. You know what that means, BKB. That's going to be three more kills. Making a second, fifth, and final kill as Tempest shows off his restoration stone. So second elemental void. It just makes it so difficult to really deal with that crack. Here we, have we have a release the Kraken connecting onto the pebbles. And Master Rums, he gets stunned up by the Here comes the game. Keeper blocking down the dead with Clanks is here with the ATK drop. So that's going to be a double stab coming out by the Clanks. Patrick for the team as they're not done just yet. Magnus getting the catch here on the roof walk. As he has a portal key already on the Magnus. 270 gold per minute there. Uh, continuing to look to farm with that. Master Spell comes out onto the Magnus. Double combo coming in from the Pebbles. Lining up both the Master Rums and the Pebbles. Make it a hat trick for Kinesis as he cleans up all the kills there. Mental Force. So I think there's good reasoning for that. We have a Pebbles jump coming in. Catches. Uh, Master runs out, he will fall. Magnus gonna be the next victim as Release the Kraken is down on the floor. Gemini is in God form. He's going in for the kill here as he does bring down the damp here. And it's a huge fight coming in from Team Tim Kraken. Lone survivor, but not for long. It's going to be a full genocide there. We have Flux with the Veiled Rod here. He's gonna run into both the Elodia and the Monarch here. Here comes the cleansing win from the Monarch. Flux is being slowed here. There's gonna be a defensive discharge. Rocket's coming in from downtown computer, but here comes Gemini now with the Finfang zone. Chainsaws are down and Gemini is gonna be turned around. Flux is gonna hold his ground with that focus buffer. Release the Kraken in the background, locking down Flux as the Monarch does end up falling. And Dr. Pulsar with that double damage and he picks up a hat trick. Side to go have a jump here on the Doctor of Pulsar, more so on the Monarch as the Shogunate is up from Doctor. But he is getting very low on his mana. Here comes Release the Kraken blocking down the Gemini as the Flux Pull is on top. And there's the second pull into the second uh, Release the Kraken for the second one. And they're going to clean up the entire Legion side. He's there, but they're going to spot him out. Nonetheless, here comes the showdown. There's the dig being used, and he's gonna get pulled back here into the call to arms. Will they have the damage? Follow up, here comes the lava surge from the Magnus. One more auto attack from Gladiator, they will get that kill. But now the ports are here from Gauntlet as Zephyr was in the area, and he will use the pitfall. It will connect onto the Gladiator. There's a Typhoon coming in from Zephyr as Geomancer and the Gladiator have both fallen so far. There's the Gauntlet going down, as well as Revenant now in the area. He's on top of that Zephyr, and the Cyclones will take him out, whether or not he's in this or not. Sandwraith, he's gonna go for the board out. He will get stopped by the Gust. And a huge team fight coming in from back to our protocols. Right, right. And it looks like Legion uh, is rotating into the Helmet Dragon with Gauntlet here. And he's going to get away. Stability get, gets in the movement speed to safety there. Uh, they're looking to turn this one around though. Here comes the Malphus coming out from Hellbringer. It's going to line up onto two. Well, they have the damage to bring down Gladiator. He is very tanky as the sun from Magnus does connect onto Gauntlet. There's a protected melody, but it's going to get cancelled immediately by the swap as Gauntlet is getting returned. Focus fire here, but we're going to see two kills uh, go in the way of back to protocol as Gladiator falls as well. And I don't know how they're going to deal with the bird. Uh, comes out on the Revenant. He gets gusted back. And Gauntlet's going to initiate on him with the Gauntlet Blast as well. There is a the protected man. melody coming out as the Malthus will stop the Rhapsody as well. Sandwraith is now here in the party. They do take out the Andromeda. Sandwraith is trying to get up the cliff, but he's fighting Zephyr mano a mano. And that is not going to work out for him as Zephyr is just too damn strong right now. Here comes 
comes a dig stun onto the Gladiator. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? The Earth Crash will miss, and Geobancer will fall to the tower. Gladiator just a little bit too tanky with that Barry Rattle. So they lose two players there in exchange for three. The dives end up being a little bit too much from Backdoor Protocol, but... The big picture here is Zephyr is still healthy. He will get the tower. Will they be able to bring him down with three players? Pitfall will land following up that Lava Surge and the Mortification coming in from Revenant. They're trying to kite him with that Defile. Magnus does not have his Lava Surge up for two more seconds. A nice tablet coming in from the Revenant. Here comes a second Lava Surge. And will Zephyr end up falling? There's the healing coming in with the Sack Stone. Will he be able to turn this one around? No, he will not. He will get the kill onto Magnus, more so Hellbringer, but it will come at a cost of Zephyr's life. Swap comes out onto the Revenant. Do they have vision of him? Looks like he is dusted. He, will he fall here? Final auto attacks will take him down as the Air Rider will not keep him alive. Hellbringer also going to fall there to the Showdown Pitfall combination. So It is great against Showdown by Gladiator as he cannot be brought back anymore if he's Storm Spirited or anyone of his team. As we see, bottom lane. Is that a solo, solo killing from Jim Sandra? I, I don't he must know how, even know. how that would happen. Uh, probably still the enemy Congo right now. As Zephyr's gonna get jumped. Hold on, yeah, he's gonna jump the Zephyr now. He is all by himself here. He's looking to turn it around though onto Magnus. Magnus will fall. Hellbringer gonna storm through it himself, following up that um, call to or that yeah, the call to arms does connect actually as he gets drop down from the Storm Spirit, Hellbringer will fall Zephyr. Is he gonna go down here? He gets taken down to low life, 50 HP, he does survive. Crystal Field landing onto several targets here. It's gonna be a double tap coming out for the Geomancer as the Sandwraith does fall. The Gladiator falls as well as the Rhapsody and the sole survivor here of the team fight is going to be Revenant. Chipper is getting caught in a bit of an awkward position here as he does get debited by the Midas. Gonna get chased gonna land onto oh, Rhapsody. Here comes a release of Kraken locking down several heroes. Ophelia here from the flank. Gonna lock them down with the Minotaurs <laughs> as well. It's get, going get to be a double tap for the Kraken. And Kraken definitely having some strong showing here in game number two. He's looking for a third kill. He's gonna find Chipper here. Will he get the auto attack off? There's the splash. Making a hatch on his last one as he's gonna try to make the escape here. Corrupt the Disciple using that overload here. He's gonna line up another charge as Rhapsody comes in with a melody, but they will secure the kill there. Uh, make it a, a hat trick, or excuse me, a quad kill for the team as Corrupted does fall there. Gangs of smoke just running next to each other in the bottom lane as Midas, he's gonna jump in. There's the Shrunken oh Head the Moon King, but Kraken was there all along baiting it, and Midas will go down through that release of Kraken. Here comes the Shrunken Head being used by Rally. He goes in with the slam. It does some solid damage, but again, backward protocol just getting outnumbered here. But, you know, this game is about as even as we could ask for. Here we're gonna have the Storm Spirit onto Kraken, but uh, Pharaoh's gonna get the initiation here on the Corrupted Disciple tablet that's happened on him and they're looking to turn this one around, release the Kraken. Not the best placement coming in from Slaske as that's gonna queue back to Protocol to possibly pursue this fight. Ophelia engaging with Rally over here, locking him down. He gets the shrunken head off. Meanwhile, in the background, Corrupted Disciple and Midas, they do take out both the Pharaoh and the Rhapsody, Moonbeam pops the Shrunken, and the Moon Finale, she's hunting for some kills, they will get the Midas, Corrupted is now on the run as the Shrunken does wear off, he's gonna hold his ground here, but he's gonna get locked down, will he be able to man up, he does get the Ophelia kill, but Moon Queen is fighting strong, as only Scrap and Rally and Chipper are alive in the area, meanwhile, Kraken fighting two in the background, the Rockets, they will, he will actually go down to the Creeps there as Rally ports out, or, you know, that's Chip reporting out, excuse me, in the trees. From Queen Hellbringer. looking to be a force to be reckoned with here. Yeah, you pointed out the no buybacks here, so it's going to be a three on five. This tower is going to uh, melt once the uh, lift is around. Here's the Wrath of the Pharaoh locking down the uh, Corrupted Disciple. They're going to get the charge back, and he is just going to melt as he gets pushed into the entire Legion team. He does have a buyback. He's dead for 80 seconds otherwise. But this Rax will fall. Rally is responding in five. Oh, are they going for the throw? Scrap is alive with a sheepstick. I don't know about this decision to go throw. Gramity, as uh, we do have a sheepstick on the scrap and a buyback on the corrupted disciple. He's going to need to use that buyback here. The tier four towers are melting. The buyback is going to happen. The tier four towers are going to fall. Milky pops the symbol. Uh, or no, does not pop the symbol. She pops the shrunken head. She's going to melt. The corrupted disciple, even with the shrunken head activated, it's going to be a double tap. For Probusk, and there's the GG. And the GG by Probusk. There's the, the. We wait for those GGs all the time, Ramity, as they only happen when there are the victories. But a <laughs> very nice victory nonetheless, as the Congor token of life does prevail them here. By top lane, we have an eruption being channeled here. Magnus with the portal key. He's going to line up a two man stun. There's the parade of power coming in.
supported him by Nymphora, and they're gonna burst down both the Swiftblade and the Master of Arms stacked on top of each other. Double Veiled Rots from our Legion Psychic Cloud. Gonna get his broken here as well as the Magnus. There's the Parade of Power locking down the Master of Arms. But there's the Elemental Void coming out with the Shrunken Head locking down both the Cloud and the Magnus. Will the follow up get there in time as Madman was actually the target of focus from Swiftblade and company. They will get the one kill there onto the Madman. He cannot get his Shrunken Head off. King Cloud falls as well as the Magnus in a beautiful fight coming in from Donkey Kong. Three for nothing. Make it a four for nothing as Slaske finds the Nymphora over in the clutch. Uh, Keeper of the Forest, he's now level four. He's got 15 last hits compared to 29. Make that 30 of Solstice as he continues to work on some jungle. Not nothing well. the bottom, bottom lane. lane. Bubbles is going to eat the golden apple. There's a bang coming out, but the health potion gets him just enough HP. Hold that till middle lane. See him. Yeah, middle lane. We have Flux getting stunned up here. Steve. Uh, Looter Judgment being channeled. Bensington does fall. They don't have enough damage to bring down the Flux. They are going to kill the Andromeda. Lynch will sacrifice himself as they do get that Flux skill eventually, but it does come at a cost of a double tap going his way. With the four deaths, both mid laners, uh, you know, sitting on very many deaths here, but Magnus will catch the Blitz here with the Lava Surge. There's the full end of the swap, and Blitz speed will run off as uh, Kalanx does make his way over. All five players here from the dog, uh, from Team Tim is a beautiful ultimate there from the Solstice, lining up on the two Kelfield, holding them in place. They will get the one kill onto Flux Magnus with the Steam Bath as Solstice. He is going deep for this kill. No mana for a common on the Andromeda, but Bensington is now here with the double damage and he will clean up the Andromeda. So a couple of kills going their way. Will they make it one more with the Magnus here? The power supply will come up. Four charges on the battery. He will deny himself to the neutral creeps in the oh, corner there. Wow, I missed that. But they're going to have to jump here on the clanks. There's the swap coming out. As we see, the Flux jumping in with the pull. There is no Keeper Root being used. Just that he jumps in with the Keeper Root and then locks. Bubbles does fall. Luna does fall. There is double buyback coming in for both the Bubbles and the Bensington. Will they be able to hold this fight? As the Shrunken Head not going to be used by Snooki there. He will fall and he does have a buyback. So many buybacks being used. Can they bring down the Clanks as the Kelp Field is holding him in place with the Shrunken Head down? And now it's going to be a quad kill coming up for a Clanks. Make it an annihilation as he does end up falling. Finally, the buybacks are just so many. The first buyback going to be used by the Clanks here. Will he buy the post as he rejoin the party? It looks like Clanks is here and he is ready to fight. Solstice is on the run. He does not have a Shrunken Head and Bubbles will also fall back as we have the first buyback coming in from the Solstice as well as the Magnus. What a chaotic fight. There's the second Keeper Root, and will it be enough to secure this team fight? The Keeper of the Forest will fall. Bensington, he is on the chase as the Clanks is pounding in the auto text. The GG's are called here, and game number one is gonna go to Team Tim here at the 34 minute mark as they have built themselves this large lead. More responding to Ephemeral Forge. Here comes the Hell on New Earth and the Freeze from the Glacius, and they will lock down the Kraken. Will Andromeda be the next victim as well as the Cookies are trying to get the body blocks there with the Gingerbreads from Balfour with that corpse conversion, Andromeda not with the marcher, so they might get this secondary kill. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Lodestone does go down to the Corrupted Disciple, but he's going to fall to the tower, and that's a big exchange. Meanwhile, in the bottom <laughs> lane, we have Warby's falling to the level 6 Doctor Repulsor. Ramity, how many of these kills can we really catch on our camera? I mean, come on, there's kills happening everywhere. Now, he's going to get spotted by the Lodestone. Here comes the Rocket Drill. Doctor is going to go for the gang. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Double Tap comes out for Glacius as the Glacial Dom Park got channeled. What just happened? Ramity is uh, just going to run into Warby's. Here comes Dr. Pulsar flying with the opposite charges. Moira with the Shard Harkon and the Mana Sunder. And that will be a quick and easy kill on the Warby's. And uh, Zane not able to get his middle lane. Off there. Yeah, meanwhile, middle lane. We have an engagement with Lister Kraken locking up out before. Will he be able to hold this ground? He will fall as he did not get his hell on New Earth off the gingerbread. Still trying to do work after life as Andromeda. Will he fall? Yes, he will. The micro coming in from Snooki. He picks up the double tap as he does get the one kill onto Kraken initially. Grabbed the disciple. Now he could be in some trouble. There's the mana sunder coming in. The gingerbreads are trying to do the slows up. Will they have any follow up damage as Lowstone not feeling comfortable to go back in with a rocket drill into? To a head smash. Wisdom likes that extra ball count. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we have Rock Control coming in on the Magnus. The clip is used here. Will they get the last hit on the tower as Doctor is flying around? He's going to get the opposite charges here on the Magnus. Corrupted Disciple gets the last hit on the tower and Lowstone does fall. But now, will Corrupted Disciple fall through the Doctor Repulsor? Yes, he will. It's going to be a double tap coming out for Fa. Make it an onslaught streak as they do finally bring down 
the Corrupted Disciple once again. The supporting caster, a lot of gold being uh, saved up here. It's Dr. Pulser, he's gonna get the quick kill here onto Andromeda at the top river area. That's a savage six streak coming out for Fall as Kraken uses the Tsunami Charge, and you know what that means? He's gonna be in some trouble. He locks both of them down here in the release of Kraken, but I don't see him getting out of this one. There's gonna be one more flight available with the remaining mana, making a domination streak coming out for Dr. Repulsor. So don't count Team Team out yet because here comes Warrior jumping in with her body. She gets the stun up onto the Magnus. They will get the kill with the Dr. Repulsor. The bloodbath continues as Snooki is in the front lines. Here comes the hell on you are doing damage to and the Kraken, but will they have the damage to bring them down as Lowstone? He's taking damage from the tower, the port going to stop those auto attacks. As Dr. Pulsar, he's not done just yet. He gets the kill on the Kraken. Here comes the Glacial Town Warrior. It will be cancelled as Magnus channels an eruption, but there's the Arcane Vortex cancelling that one out. It's a hatcher coming out for Paul, and this fight is not done just yet. Quad kill coming out. Will they make it an Annihilation? No, Azam takes the last kill there, and he will fall to the Magnus. As the buybacks, I believe, are happening from the Legion or the Hellborn side. Three buybacks in total, and they will bring down the Bloodbath streak finally from Fa. They're looking to try to line up. Here they go with the swap onto Balthagor. Can they bring him down? Here comes the release of Kraken, locking him down. He will fall, and the ultimates are coming. Shunkanet is blind by the uh, Corrupted Disciple as Glacius also with that Shunkanet. Arcane Vortex in the background locking down several players and it will be both the supporting cast of the team of Team Tim falling here as Dr. Pulsar Shunkanet is off, or er, Corrupted rather, as Dr. jumps him and he will get the one kill, forcing out the buyback from Imba Boy. They're going to be the first one being used as it's going to be a full genocide coming out. Kraken going to also buy back here. It's a second and final buyback, but five players holding strong here as we do have a buyback coming in from Snooki on the balcony where he is rejoining the party. Party. Doctor is not done, and he is going to get the kill there with Glacius on to both the Corrupted Disciple and the Kraken, and that is going to do it, Ramity. Game number two goes to Doghouse, and we're going to a third and final game here in semi-final number two, so this one is not short of excitement. So he spent 1,100 gold as uh, middle lane. Hold that we have a Blitzkrieg ultimate here in the mid lane, locking down the Pebbles here. Will he end up porting to it as he does go in with a head smash? They will get the one kill as the ports are happening. Static group comes in on the low stone. There's the explosion from the Shatterstorm. Now it will oh, come in across them one for one. They will get the kill onto Dark Lady there. It's a double tap coming in for Snooki as they will get a next the next kill there on the electrician. Make it three for one as Lodestone sacrifices himself. All ten players here make their way to the mid lane, and this fight is not done. Ramity, the high mine is up on the Andromeda. That will mean a kill there from the tremble onto the Andromeda, and not having that swap up going to hurt them. As here comes the Crystal Field locking down the tremble, but there's a Crystal is coming in from the Monarch to prevent that damage. Will he make the escape there from the tower? As he will end up going down, but Geomancer will sacrifice himself to the Lord Self Forest. Now he is taking heavy pressure there from the tower. The aggro is going to be switched there to the Monarch, and Pebbles is going to fall. What a team fight coming in! From the doghouse, Ramity as they clean up the entire side of Team Tim. Veiled Rock coming in from the Blitz, who picks up an early Tablet of Command. Will the ports come in? Here comes the two-man TP, as there comes the Blitzkrieg Ultimate, or the Lightning Shackles into the Blitzkrieg Sun, and Lodestone gonna get gripped up by the Electrician, but will he sacrifice himself? As we have all five players here from the Doghouse, the TP going in from Andromeda, it's gonna be stopped by the Tablet. There's gonna be two kills happening as the Electrician does fall, so two players sacrificing themselves for the escape of the Dark Lady. Lights down Bottom there. lane, double smoke uh, on the, the Dark Lady. Yeah, we have a double smoke coming in as Dark Lady, she's gonna get gone on as she uses the charging strikes. This could be definitely a kill. Here comes the shadow storm from Azam and it will blow up the Dark Lady. Now, could be in some trouble as he is all by himself. One versus two. There is no tower here for the TPs to happen as Tremble comes in with a hive mind and snare and Electrician. He is going to be all by himself. He is going to fall here. Will they look to retaliate here as there comes a toss onto the Illusion. Swap comes in onto the Tremble, but he does have Esmas and the Steam Boots. Will he be able to hold the ground here? No, he will not as Pebbles does get that kill. Will they be able to take this fight here from the side of Team Tim as we have Behemoth's Heart leading the way from Lord Self Forest. He's opening so much damage. Here comes a toss back from the Pebbles. There's the Dark Blades from the Dark Lady. The Cleansing Wind comes out. There's the Cover of Darkness blinding them. As the second amplification from the staff removes the crystal field stun, Lord Self Forest with the portal key jumps in on the pebbles. Here comes the low stone. Rocket Drill Stun, he's gonna jump in. He's going to commit to that one. And the racks will fall. We have a buyback coming in from the pebbles following up that death. But the racks, will they be able to be defended here? Shunken Head still on cooldown from Dark for 20 more seconds. Here comes a swap from the uh, Andromeda onto the Trumple. She is manning up, and that will just be an illusion. It looks like they will get the final rack skill as the Andromeda does end up falling. It is a double tap coming out from Lord Self Forest. He is leading the way. There is Rift Shards being bought out by the Dark Lady. She does not have a buyback. This is going to be the last fight to conclude this game. Most likely here we have the swap coming in on the 
Flare Cell Force, but there's the Cleansing Wind to remove it, and the fight is not done just yet. Here comes the Shadow Storm being channeled by the Glowstone. Dark Lady will fall, and she does not have a buyback. This is going to be disastrous for the side of Team as Pebbles does fall, and they're diving into the base. Andromeda is going to fall as well. Four players dead the way of Team Tim, and did Doghouse just do it here in semifinal number two? The second Rax is going to fall, and this is most likely going to be the beginning of the end. They're going for a throne. For us. They are going for the GGs throw. The GGs are called, and game number three is going to go to the doghouse. They are moving on to the finals to meet Donkey Kong. And on the Predator, I think we'll either see Thunderclaw or possibly even Elder Parasite. Oh, that's what four Bottom lane, we have War Chief going down. Raps going to fall as well. So double tap as there was no Cataclysm use. He still has that ready to go. Trying to bait out the Cthulhu Pond as they numbers are here from the side of Doghouse. Four players here. There's the Transfigure coming in from King Cloud with that Hastrian. Making a hatchet for Snooki on the uh, Draconis there as the Hastrian is still activated here. 4 one more second. Yeah, you called the Parade of Power is still up. Monkey King, he's going to get caught here. And will they get the fifth and final kill here? Luna is going to get slowed up by the Goblin Tosses. Make it a double tap for Azam. It's a genocide for the team. Dragon coming out. There's the Cataclysm from Draconis. He's thinking about boarding in. There's the Staccato stuff preventing that flight, though, as the uh, Monkey King will fall there to the Goblins of King Cloud. Now he will fall to the tower. The fight is not done just yet. The opponent's here with the Obliterate. He will go down to the Ripper and from Riftwalker as Rhapsody. She is in the trees. She will fall to the auto attacks of Chipper. And it is three kills going the way of Monkey Kong for that King Cloud. Make it four as the Luna does fall. And will it be a genocide war chief? is going to get himself, I think, the distance to safety. So it's a four for one engagement here from Donkey Kong once again. It is damage output through. They don't have uh, much gold on the Cthulhu Fun now. I see some very low GP. I mean, we have a parade of power in the mid lane, locking down the Warship. Chain Souls to come down, and that will get the kill there. Onto him as the power throws coming in. Monkey King flip it over the tower. He will use the slam there, but will he make the kill? No, he will get turned on, and he will fall. Both the Warship and the Monkey King do fall. Blacksmith, Engineer, and Revenant. A potential trial in there. There's the stun coming out. Onto a load of the Keck stun. Gonna knock him backwards. The Defile coming in from Revenant. Will this be the first blood kill? As one more auto technique. And dude on the Engineer will get that bloodless kill. No counter coming in from the side of Donkey Kong as Silhouette. Not the best level one engaging hero. So Luna. Meanwhile, mid lane Revenant fight over this tower. Dipper goes in with the uh, full combo. He uses the Consume. Engineer going to stay alive. And they're looking to turn this one around. Was it bait all along? Damp here will fall and the tower will what get denied here, so no team support coming in for Slasgate there. Four heroes in the bottom lane. Actually, on the Riptide, he's gonna get initiated on here as the transfer to follow Silva is here. Gets the kill with the Death Lotus as four players collapse onto the Riptide. He could not get off his Undertale. Mid tower is possibly gonna fall as Damp here comes in. There's a mine trap gonna connect on it too. That's some good damage, dude. Who's gonna bait it? Fall in response. Will Snooki be able to get the kill there on the damp here? No, he will not. But Azza comes in with the slam and the dash. Blacksmith. Well, he's got his staffing delivered to him. Is he going to look to go back in here? Possibly line up a couple of multicasts. There's one. Is he going to get a second one? Yes, it will be enough. Look at that burst damage coming in. Ramity as the staff. The second application there of the fireball <laughs> takes him out. It's not done just yet. Profiles on the silhouette, but the Luna is in trouble and she will fall. It is two kills going the way of Snooki there. Now he is currently level seven without an energy Not field. A little bit no. surprised by that. They're looking to turn this one around on Geomancer who did use his stun. Crystal Field is down. Locking down Dampir. Will they have the Dampir? Or, or Blacksmith rather. Dampir will jump in. He will get the one kill. He's trying to hold this ground with the Zoom. Will he make it to safety? It looks like he will. The Dick Stun connecting on to both the Riptide and the Revenant. Here's the damage coming in from Donkey Kong as Silhouette joins the party and they will bring down the Revenant. They will get the counter kill here on to Rip Parker. But here comes the three man my trap coming in from Engine. Are you kidding me? Thank you to Quad Kill for Dude. And I think I might be losing my voice, Remedy. Holy cow. Oh, what a mind trap coming in from Engineer. He's speeding in there. But he's not playing Monkey right King, he's fighting the silhouette here. Here comes the second fall there as the uh, shadow is forced out. Monkey King will fall. There's the multicast coming in, but not enough damage for a kill as silhouette will TP to the base and most likely look to swap back. Here we have Kegaway coming in from Engineer as I believe that might have been a multicast coming in. And Snooki, he wants more. He throws out the fireball onto Midas and Riptide is here. Tempe comes in on the Riptide energy field. is down. Riptide with the Astral AP will heal up, but he will get transmuted. And there's a double combo. Will it be a big combo coming in with the Crystal Field? Will it? Wow. 
It's going to be a hatch and come on once on. again. Yes, yeah, Snooki, he's got another fireball coming up in four more seconds. Buyback does happen from Slaska there on the Dampir as he jumps in on the Blacksmith. Will they have enough damage to bring him down? Mortification is down. And Dampir, he will fall. Make it a quad kill for a dude. Will we see another, an, or will we see an annihilation? This is the second quad kill oh coming up. Oh my god, what's happening here? He has 322 gold per minute. <laughs> Holy cow, if you told me that dude was going to get multiple quad kills here on the engineer, I would have called you a liar, Remedy. I don't have really had more mindset. <laughs> He's getting these things up. Meanwhile, Blacksmith is taking out Silhouette. No, no big deal, by the way. The uh, Black soloing the uh, other team's carry. Light is up correctly. Shadow it. coming in from Silhouette. Will she swap to it? There's the boulder coming in from Cogwar. As Monkey King going to be taken down very low. There's the energy field coming down from Engineer. And they will get the kills onto Full Damp here. And the Geomancer. Silhouette is now in trouble. She will be forced to fall back. She does Street Grapple. And she will fall. It is a genocide. Coming and out for the, the second doghouse. game. The concede vote comes out, and that's going to mean game number two comes to a conclusion. Ramity. Uh, looks like they're going Magnus for the going to go in for the lava search here as he's got the marchers picked up. Going to stun up the scrap. Here comes an arrow from the support Valkyrie as Torture comes in with the chain reaction stun. As that's being played by Probus there. And Nighthound and Gemini are here looking to do some return pressure. They are between the towers. Here comes the Twin Fangs jump onto Torture. The Chain Reaction Sun landing onto Bold, but Nighthound will he get the kill? Gemini does fall. Torture, one more auto attack needed with those Toxin Claws. He will fall. And Valkyrie getting returned on by the Zoomerang from Scrap. We've got one more coming up in three more seconds. No leap available, so if this slow is enough, will they be able to secure this kill here onto Valkyrie? Nighthound needs to at least get in range for some time. Another slow in one second, so they're got There's this. another Zoomerang slow, yeah. So they actually make it a two for two in the end, despite getting bloodlusted there in favor of yeah. the Fugit side. Uh, Magnet's gonna run into the scrap. With the lava search, here comes a hook on the scrap. There's the gauntlet blast. But they're gonna turn it around with the pounds and pause up on the behemoth. Is he gonna make the escape here? as he uses the golden apple. One more auto attack needed. Tries to deny himself and he will be successful. Gemini is now here. Gets the one kill onto the Magnus and they're looking to possibly make this more. But Nighthound gonna get spotted out there by the ultimate of Nitro, the overdrive. And they do make it a two for two exchange there. And Gemini is looking to pick it up. And perhaps turn this around onto the Legion team as Magnus is running to no man's land here and he's going to get picked off here, I think. Uh, Slava Search stun is still on cooldown for 3 seconds, and he's just kind of playing with them here. He lines it up beautifully. There's a chain reaction, it's not connecting on it from Gauntlet, and Gemini will get bursted down by the arrow, but will this come to cost as they are on the hunt here? Three players still alive. Valkyrie gonna deny herself to this easy camp. This easy camp's just being the victim of everyone. <laughs> here comes the shockwave, going to deal some damage as Nighthound jumps in once again with a cloud and a pound, slowing up the Gauntlet, but no mana currently on the scrap as Nitro is now here. Here comes, comes Balfador though, baby, and he beats down the Nitro with that demonic pathogen. Here comes the stun from Magnus, taking out the Nighthound and Balfador. Will he look to use his cell on Newark? Currently only four charges on that as the Impalement will wear off here from the Torture. The Cookie's leading the way. Will they be able to get the kill there? There's the hell on Newark. Under the Ward of Revelation, the demonic pathogen, and Magnus will fall. The arrow not going to connect there. And it will now be a 15 to seven hero kill lead coming out from the Doghouse. As they're, they're thinking not about possibly yeah. doing a dive here on the torture. Probusk is in some trouble. Gemini is trying to line up the sun. He will line it up as the arrow will connect onto scrap. Overdrive going to be used here as well. They do take out the scrap as well as he's going to be a first shot by the dog. Gemini double tap coming out for Fa there as Nitro. He is now all by himself with Valkyrie and the Twin Fangs jump will miss the Valkyrie there. There's the. Oh my god, the body block coming in from oh, Valkyrie. He's, he's going to do the sleep. He is stuck <laughs> in the creep trap. And Valkyrie is gonna do all the jokes that she wants, but it's not gonna be enough to get her to safety. So Gemini will get that kill. He even asks for mercy, but mercy you shall not have. Oh my god. Go to the TV, but that looks funny. Uh, so Magnus just kind of walking up to Balfanger and tipping out. <laughs> and I suppose both these are tired, so they're just kind of having fun with this. And we're gonna get stunned up here. Looks like he's gonna go down. The ding ding came out. The ding ding came out. Nighthound goes down over in the jungle area to the Nitro, but he does end up falling to Gemini. 
Meanwhile, we have several buybacks happening. Second and final buyback from the Balfagor, first one from the Nighthound. As we have the fight continuing here in the mid lane, Magma's gonna stun away. Uh, concede wood comes out by the Legion Nighthound. team. Random concede wood. Uh, arrow gonna hit onto Gemini. We're here, we're seeing the nice. <laughs> good nights being called. We're saying good night. Is this the but end of the what? tournament the here? don't matter until we hear oh, it come from Probus. Bob, we have no the GGs. fat lane. It doesn't uh, look like we're gonna see any GGs coming from Probus. Just a well, disconnect sign, unfortunately. Too bad. You know what, Ramity? We had a pretty exciting series here, finishing off this anticlimactic game three. But the Doghouse are going to be your winner here in the Clan Tour number one tournament here, taking out Donkey Kong in the finals, three games to nothing. So.